Gary Stewart Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Gary Stewart, head coach of the men's basketball team. And coach, not necessarily the way you wanted to start the conference schedule, but some positives to take away, especially a late run against Albright. Yeah, we knew it was going to be challenging early uh, with such a young group and trying to get everybody acclimated and on the same page. And uh, we played some really good competition and uh, had a good one against uh, Albright, uh, but uh, uh, not quite enough to win that one. And then came back against a... Um, a group at uh, Widener that has um, some really good players that are in their junior and senior class, and and uh, that experience showed. Yeah, it wasn't necessarily the way you wanted to bounce back against Widener. Uh, dropping into a deficit early kind of hurt you a lot, um, but still some positives to take away in that experience for the team. Yeah, we got hit with the injury bug and uh, played without Cliff Carnish uh, in the um, first game against Albright of the week and, and Steven Zink. Um, unfortunately, um, uh, Stephen wasn't able to go against Widener, but we did get Cliff in there for a couple minutes. Mm-hmm. We're still missing Ryan Hill. So we're struggling with our continuity, and, um, and that's so critically um, and, and vital uh, to a young team. I think one of the catalysts in getting the offense and defense rolling for you guys and being a real presence on the court has been Corey Heyman. Corey has, um, and we, we really lean on him for um, leadership and um, although he's a sophomore mm-hmm. he's a guy that's played in um, in the conference uh, last year and, and had some meaningful minutes uh, and some very important games for us so um, we know he's um, capable and uh, uh, and he's certainly uh, a, a guy that uh, is critical to our uh, long-term success and you guys have so much youth on the court uh, both offensively and defensively uh, what is it that you need to correct to get things going and get the W's rolling that you want to this week? Well, we need time. Uh, we need time to uh, um, hone in to the things that we're asking uh, them to get done. And you see it in practice. Um, games uh, often is the last place that you'll see it. So uh, we're struggling to play uh, for long periods of time um, well. Um, uh, to be expected, because uh, we've changed some things on both sides of the ball. A lot of it's new for, for the incoming um, student athletes. But um, I'm confident that, uh, that at some point uh, it's going to round into shape and uh, we'll be formidable. Yeah, you'll hit those hiccups as you know, players get acclimated to the system and you know, understand each other and where each other are going to be on the court. Without question. Uh, when you have so many new faces and, and people that have had uh, a lot of success, um, uh, but maybe doing it a different way, and, and now uh, they come here and, and try to adjust, um, it's a period of time that, uh, um, that they have to get acclimated to. Uh, but again, um, we have a bright future. We really like our, our roster. And um, um, it's a matter of time before um, we become a synchronized um, unit on both sides of the ball. What is it that uh, you're looking forward to in this Lebanon Valley game and then the Arcadia game at home before hitting the the break for finals week? Well, what's really important for us is to continue to teach and practice and and then see um, those things come to fruition in a game. Uh, we're going to stay at it. We're going to keep hitting the rock. And, and at some point, um, we know that um, they are, they're active learners. They want to have carryover. Um, it's just a matter of time. Well, Coach, we thank you for your time this week and every week. And uh, we'll see you on Saturday. Thank you, Joe. He's Gary Stewart. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been The Gary Stewart Show.